Okay, okay, big hit, big hit. Big hit, yes, Young Han, come- I can't believe it, guys. Young Han beats Malgus for high banners. 56 banners in 3v3. Whether or not this would work against Darth Revan and Bastila lineup, I don't know, but it definitely works against Marauder and Talon. Now, why is this working? Young Han is gaining 10% offense stacking every time he takes a turn with protection up. Now, that doesn't include his counter attacks, it only includes when he actually takes a turn. Now, how do you enable Young Han to take turns? Well, firstly, you're going to be throwing the dice. Now, if you're wondering why I'm constantly doing that throughout the battle, and I know some people in the past have said, why are you throwing the dice? It's because every time you throw the dice, you gain protection up and you gain retribution. Now, you always want to throw the dice every other turn because you want the protection up to last until the next turn. So the protection up lasts two turns. So you use it one turn, you attack the next, you use it and then you attack and you use it and then you attack. Now, the most important thing here, guys, is that Young Han is going to get a crazy high offense. You can see he's already hitting for 18k on a basic. Um, there are some issues that can arise. Sometimes Malgus will doubt Young Han. He can't gain buffs. It slows the counter down. Also, uh, if Young Han gets feared, he skips turns. So you do want him, ideally, dash to be targeted all the time. But you can see it 100% works. Now, the way Malgus's kit works is every time he's debuffed, he's gaining 10% health and 10% protection. Now, Young Han is giving speed down on the basic. There's kind of good and bad about this. The good is that Malgus takes less turns. The bad is that Malgus regains so much health and protection. That's why you want to use Dash's uh, AoE, which is going to apply defense down. Now, as you saw there, it gives a lot of health and protection back. But the most important thing here is that it gives defense down. So Young Han will be able to attack through that protection and health gain. Again, when you're throwing the dice, you're also gaining 50 speed stacking to a max of 200. So you can see my Young Han's mods on the screen. He's going to be gaining 200 additional speed during a counter, which is why he gains so many turns and his offense continues to ramp. Now, my Young Han is Relic 9. You do not need a Relic 9 for this. I'm sure you could do it Relic 7 or Relic 8 because the Relic 9 does not really give that much offense compared to the other Relics. And the health isn't really needed on Young Han. Um, the Dispo is very nice on Dash. And as you can see, we're now at 44 care basic. So we've already gone from 18,000 to 44,000. Now, the other thing is Vandal Chewy is dealing damage based on max health of his special. There, you saw it hit for about 40 to 50k. If you have him at Relic 8 or 9, Vandal Chewy is going to be doing, you know, 100k himself. So that's also going to make this a lot easier. Now, this was only a Relic 7 Malgus. The health on the Malgus was about 140,000. So not bad at all. That's not factoring all the lead, the Omicrons, all of that stuff. A very, very good counter to be sure. Now, did I think this would work? I had mixed opinions. Um, you can see the defense down. We are actually now, watch Vandal Chewy here. There, there's 70,000. Young Han hit for 40k. 40k and a basic. He assists the Zeta, 50k and a basic. 116,000 right there. And there's the win, guys. Young Han is amazing. I hope you guys like this video. 56 banners against Malgus is unreal.